everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you've all been well and happy new week because i always seem to upload at the start of a new week now um i've missed you guys and i've missed chatting with you guys and i've really been enjoying vlogging like my work life recently some of you guys have been asking me to film more of like my work and life balance where i can so that's what i'm trying to do this week um show you guys kind of how i manage to fit everything into my schedule sorry for the loud noise the coffee maker just switched on but yeah life can be quite busy sometimes and i'm feeling like i'm starting to get the hang of how to manage things although i do have a lot on my plate and i won't deny that so yeah sometimes i feel like even i need to sit back and think how am i um how am i managing to do everything and maybe if there's any tips that i have i can share them with you um but yeah i hope that you all enjoyed this vlog before we get into it i wanted to ask if you could please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my vlog content because it really really helps me so thank you in advance for doing that Okay, let's make our coffee and be on our way to work. Today is actually a mixed day. Sorry, I need a second shot of coffee. My hair is really bugging me out, but I don't have time to blow dry the front anymore. So I don't know, I guess I might have to just tuck it back. Oh, that actually looks better. Today in the morning, I'm doing maternity ward cover, which is taking care of the postnatal ladies that are that's basically women who have just given birth um so the ones who need to be reviewed by a doctor i will see otherwise a lot of them are cared for by our lovely midwives and if they are stable they won't need to be reviewed by the doctors in the afternoon i'm in gynecology clinic with one of my consultants and there we see gynecological problems not obstetric um obstetric clinics are called antenatal clinics which essentially means like pregnancy um Science over. <laughs> let's have the coffee and let's go to work. Mykonos reunion. Yeah, it is. So I actually think this is the first time the three of us have been together since Mykonos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that was it. Yeah. yeah. Christmas reunion, the birthday reunion. Yeah, birthday, birthday, birthday reunion. Yeah, exactly. New Year's reunion. And we're having breakfast. It's so nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yours? I'm not sure about this one. Yours? I mean, <laughs> let's give you the bread. Oh, yeah, bread. <laughs> Take 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 I feel like that will help the scenario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you actually are going to Mars as well. I'm going as well in August. Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've never been to Yeah. And that's an appetizing crumb. I'm well into it. Oh, so cute. Brunch with the girls, beautiful hair, brunch hair, love it, love it. Can I just say, you can always tell when I'm filming anything to these guys because especially in my like Instagram and TikTok, you hear one of them screaming, <laughs> you know girls, I've got this one TikTok of me and Mickey Mouse where I'm in this bikini and I'm dancing at Namors and there's just one of them where the whole video is going well and at the end something goes, <laughs> On that bucket hat. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's cute. 
Oh my, oh god. my god! I didn't see her. She's so cute! Look at that! I love her. I actually think I like that. The, the, the sun needs a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Oh, wow. That Which one? one? Oh, yeah. That is like a That is nice. Beautiful. I just really love everything. What? I'm loved. <laughs> That's so cute. They didn't eat that one. Do you know what? I could, I could imagine this like, you know the little Balenciaga bucket one? Yeah. yeah. That is like the Dior version of mine. Yeah. That, was me, so. that wasn't you. Okay. <laughs> Any uh, rich man version of the We'll just call your own boyfriend. He'll yeah. be there. <laughs> So I've just got home from our lunch out with the girls in the shopping and I'm definitely coming down with a cold. I had a turmeric shot and also this like cayenne pepper orange juice thing and it's kind of helped kind of hasn't and I'm gonna go to the gym which might sound to you guys a bit crazy like who goes to the gym when they're feeling a bit run down but I feel like just going for a walk putting my headphones on and zoning out a bit will make me feel better because if I come and sit on the couch and accept the fact that I am feeling sick it will make me feel sicker and I have a set of weekend nights to do this weekend so it's really not ideal for me to be ill anyways before I go to the gym I wanted to show you guys because my best friend is launching a gym gear brand and she hasn't launched it yet but she's given me some of the samples to wear and I'm wearing one now and I swear I'm not just saying this because she's my friend, but A, this is the softest, butteriest fabric I've ever tried on a gym gear. It fits so nice. I'm wearing a size small on the top and bottom, you guys will see. But it's just so, it's so flattering and it fits so nice. So I'm gonna, she wants me to like sweat test it to see how it is in the gym when I go. Obviously she sweat tested it already like with the company and everything, but she wants to see how like I react to it and some other of her friends. But I'm obsessed and I wanna show you guys. And she said she doesn't mind if I show you. So, so this is the set and look at the detailing on the bum. It's got the scrunch bum. So it's just making me look so nice. These are flared at the bottom, so they just make you look taller, they make you look more, I don't know, elongated, and I just feel really, like, sexy, but also gym appropriate and comfortable. My boobs feel well supported in the sports bra because often with a lot of these, like, gym bras that are made to be more fashion than gym, they don't really support you that well, but these are nice, they're padded, like, you can have like it's like wearing a push-up bra but you're just wearing a top essentially and i would wear this to, like brunch like let's say you want to go to have breakfast or brunch with your friends and before you've got to work out or after you've got to work out i would so wear this i feel it's so pretty i've just paired it with some brown um jordans and i'm gonna wear my puffer jacket over it and i'm i'm good to go look i'll show you my puffer jacket just like casual girl style how cute and i just i love the detailing on the bum i want to like show you guys i don't know if you can see it's adorable sorry i'm so sniffly but yeah as soon as she does launch it i will definitely share with you guys so you can shop it because it's insane guys it's the start of my night it's like 9 30 p.m and we are going in for a section and then we might be going in for a gynae case as well in gynae theatres after 
so it's really busy already. I'm just making myself a tea whilst the patient gets anaesthetised and I will be off. Good morning guys. I had planned on waking up and going for a walk after my nights, taking my dog, doing some admin on the phone whilst I'm on the walk and getting some life things done, getting ready, packing my gym bag and then going to see um, my best friend Celia for breakfast and then from there having a productive day and best believe I should be outside hers right now and I'm here talking to you guys so I need to run. I completely overslept because coming off of nights my sleep routine got messed up because I woke up at 7pm yesterday instead of waking up earlier and then going to bed earlier so yeah i completely messed that up but it's okay we move i'm going now for breakfast with celia we're going to a place called greenberry in primrose hill i need to dash because we're probably going to be about 10 15 minutes late to our reservation but oh well we live we move um and then from there i'm going to come back home grab my gym stuff and go there and do some work and um be as productive as i can today a quick OOTD, don't mind the mess behind me, I have dumped my coat from work and my shoes. But, uh... I got this read a fawn, so I'm gonna buy that now. I have leaned you guys on a water bottle and I've literally had to crouch down to fit into this frame. I don't know what I'm doing. My camera stand is upstairs. Um, I thought I'd quickly show you guys before I take Banksy for a walk what I got from Space and K. Da -da -da. So, I think I showed you this. Oh no, I didn't show you this one in the shop. I showed you this one in the shop. It's Drunk Elephant's B Hydra Serum. My skin gets so dry in winter and I just need this underneath my moisturizer for hydration. It's got vitamin B5, I believe in it, um, which is good. I can't tell. It says hydration serum. I can't remember, I've looked this up in the past. Yeah, pro vitamin B5. 
um, which complements vitamin C. So try and mix it with a vitamin C serum. It says I have a vitamin C moisturizer. So I use those two together. Then I got the Hourglass Concealer, the Vanish Concealer in the shade Fawn. I'm wearing it right now and oh my god, the coverage is incredible. Like, I had the NARS Creamy Concealer on this side when she tried it on me and this on the other side. And the side with the NARS just looked like I had nothing. Like, it was incomparable. Bear in mind, that side had also been set with setting powder too so it should be even better so yeah i'm really excited to use this and just see how it wears throughout the day i've not even set under my eyes now so she's like put this concealer for me and then i've just left it so hopefully it lasts nicely and then the last thing i got was from a brand called naturium the retinol complex serum so this is it the retinol serum i have quite a few friends who are plastic surgeons a lot of them recommend using retinol as part of your skincare routine, so I am going to implement this. Um, this one was quite affordable, it was £22, and because I have eczema, I'm going to use it once a week, and I'll let you guys know how I get on with it, but I'm really excited to use it. So, I'm going to go take Banksy for a walk now, and then I'm going to come come back and go to the gym and do a workout, and then um, do some actual like portfolio work for my specialty off we go guys i'm I'm looking at the results of one of my projects for Harvard and I'm so scared to see if a class, like, it's, it's like a project proposal, oh my god, it's loading and um, we get like two rounds of, two rounds of feedback on it before we submit the final draft and I'm so scared. Okay, I don't understand how turn it in works either because I never had to use it really in med school. Guys, the feedback's actually quite positive. So, I'm literally in the gym foyer, which is why I can't talk loud. I'm gonna end today's vlog, well I'm gonna end this week's vlog here. I hope that you guys got a bit more of an insight about how I kind of balance my life and how I get around to doing things. This week was a bit harder because I was quite under the weather, otherwise I tend to get more done during my nights. So I did some like practice questions and uh, revision for an exam I have uh, later on this year during my nights. So um, yeah, but it was really, really busy on my second and third night as well, which made it a bit harder. But anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this week's vlog. If you are enjoying these weekly like surgical and lifestyle vlogs, then please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah. I can't do it a kiss out loud because I'm literally sat in the cafe. I'm not joking. Okay, bye.